Hi guys, this occurring challenge is called insert a node at the head of a linked list. It's going to be very similar to the last two tutorials that I made. And in this challenge, we're going to receive a node and we have to set it as the new head of a linked list. And if our list is empty, then we need to return that node as the first node in our list. So I'm going to solve this hacker rank challenge in C++ and also in C language. This is the C++ version and this is the code that we cannot touch. So here we have a class for every node and every node is going to have a public member variable called data as an integer and also a node pointer. And then anytime we create an instance of this class, we can pass an integer to our constructor so that the node that we create will have its data member variable initialized. And for every node, the next pointer is always going to be set to null. For our main linked list class, we are going to have two public member variables. Every linked list is going to have a head and a tail, and they're both going to be node pointers. So we don't need to pass anything to any constructor because we won't be using that class directly in the solution. So in the program here, they've given us some code for their main section. We are going to create a node and whatever our function here returns is what this pointer is going to point to. So let's just scroll up here. This is the solution, it's very short. So in our function here, we have two parameters. The first one is the head of the list, the current head of the list, and the second one, is the integer with which we need to create a new node. So that's what we're doing here. We create a node, we have a node pointer. This new command here is going to create a new node and then initialize that node's data member variable with the integer that we have here as a parameter. So this is going to return a node pointer, which we then store here. So now node is pointing to a new node on the heap in memory. And then we verify here, if our current list is empty, then we return that node so that it becomes the new head of our list because it's the first node. Otherwise, we need to set it as a new head of our existing list. So we pick that node here, the node that we just created. Its next pointer is going to point to the current head in our linked list. And this means that our current head is going to be the second node in the list. That's why we have this command, a list, which was previously the head of our list, equals the nodes, which is now the new head in our list because we've done this here. So the order of the um, commands or the statements really matters. And when we are done with this, we simply return our new head because our new head is going to point to the node that we've just created here. So let's run this code in C++. And once we pass the test cases, I'm going to switch to the C version. So I'm submitting it now. And we've passed all the test cases. So I'm going to switch now to C language and it's going to be very similar. So in C language, we also have the same logic, but if you check the top here, the first statement, we are using the malloc function to allocate memory for a new node. So this is why I'm passing size off, and I have this node here, singly linked list node, which is a struct. I'm passing that to my malloc function so that I can allocate memory. But because this returns a void pointer, I need to cast it to a node pointer and then store it here. I cannot pass a constructor to my struct if I scroll up and I look for the node struct here. This is what they have. There is no constructor, so we cannot pass a data integer to store it in the node directly. That's why I have this statement here, node data. I'm using the arrow notation because node is a pointer, so I cannot use dots. So I have the data for that node equals the data that we pass here. When we call this function in our program, we need to pass an integer as the second argument of this function here. So once we've set the data manually, I can go ahead and check if the list is empty, then I need to return my new node. Otherwise, I set its next pointer to the head that we received here. And I set this node as a new head of the list. And when I'm done, I return the head. I'm going to run this code now. And we've passed the test cases. So let me submit it. And we've just passed everything. So if you liked my video and my solution, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.